by the poll results you can see that 75 percent of 1000 votes is for physics and in this video i am going to tell you the most important topics that you must prepare and a good news for you is that the physics paper for semester 2 examination will not be very tough like it was in semester 1 examination. So I will start with sound first. Natural vibrations, damped vibrations, forced vibrations, all these definitions are important. The concept is important and DT graph. You have to make sure that you practice the graphs. Res uh, resonance reasoning questions. The keyword resonance must be mentioned whenever you write the answers. Now, factors affecting loudness. You have to learn all the factors here. L is directly proportional to A square. This is the relation that is also very important. Pitch does not depend on amplitude. Then question on loudness versus intensity. If you are interested in buying notes, that is the ebook, you can purchase it from the link in the description box. You can have a look here. And I've also attached the samples of these ebooks so that you can go through them, you can uh, know these ebooks better. And if you like the notes, you can purchase it. I also have physics formula ebook, which is of 20 rupees only. It has all chapters formula and it is made in accordance to the reduced labels. Now I will move to a very important question. I would suggest you to go through previous year questions, solve them. Now these are three uh, different modes of vibrations P, Q and R of the same string. Question number one, which vibration will produce a louder sound and why? Now in this case, R will produce the louder sound because its amplitude is the largest. In this graph you can see the amplitude, the maximum displacement. Moving to question number 2, the sound of which string will have maximum shrillness? P will have maximum shrillness. The reason is the frequency is maximum. Now state the ratio of wavelengths of P and R. This will be 1 is to 3. Electricity and magnetism, all the formulas must be revised. If you have any formula notebook, you can revise it one day before your exams. And then uh, numericals based on formulas are mainly asked, but you have to focus on the reasoning questions as well. Then Ohm's law is a very important concept here. Specific resistance or resistivity, conductivity, all these definitions and formulas. You can also refer to the previous year question bank where you will get all uh, numericals based on this. Then numericals on resistance, uh, the circuit in series or in parallel. You will get questions of uh, different types here like a resistance of 5 ohm in parallel and you have to calculate the equivalent resistance. Then power rating questions. P is equal to V square by R, which is again an important formula. The units. Now household circuits. Fuse, current rating, MCV, earthing, color coding and high tension wires. Definitions and their uses. In this portion, Fleming's left hand rule, Faraday's law, Lenz law, its definition, direct current versus alternating current, the proper difference with three points, in case it is a three marker, you have to present all these three points, right hand thumb rule, permanent and uh, electromagnet, the formula of force that is IBL, in heat chapter numericals have to be practiced and you can also refer to the back exercises. Thermal capacity, specific heat capacity, reasoning questions, especially the water ones. Principle of method of mixtures, calorim uh, calorimetry, numericals, the graphs. In this graph, you can see temperature versus time, where boiling takes place at 100 degrees Celsius. 
and how the graph curve changes so these graphs are important radioactivity they'll ask you to uh, break this nucleus or maybe uh, emit alpha radiations in order to get the new emitted particle like here for alpha particle mass number is reduced by 4 and atomic number is reduced by 2 for beta particle mass number remains the same while uh, the atomic number it increases by 1 then for uh, gamma particle there is no change in the atomic number or mass number the last topic is nuclear energy E is equal to delta mc square if I tell you the uh, marking scheme for numericals part you will get one mark for the formula one mark for the working and one mark for the answer with the unit if the unit mentioned here is incorrect then you may lose marks in case you need assistance in physics you can also refer to the youtube channel physics wala where you will get a full chapter explanation of all these topics thank you for watching this video have a good day